Oh, hey. Hey, uh, welcome to John Wild's YouTube channel. I'm John Wild. Um, I don't normally get out in front of the camera, so this is kind of a special occasion today. Um, so what what I'm doing here is a Fun 5, a Fun 5 tag video. Um, I watched one earlier. I've watched a couple actually today. So I watched a couple today. I thought this is, a, this is kind of a, a fun thing to do. This would be kind of an interesting thing. Something different. Uh, you guys really haven't seen me all that much. So you get a little look at me and you get a little bit of a kind of a, a dialogue between uh, myself and, and you guys out there. So uh, fun five. So the first question was, what is your favorite toy as a child? So my favorite toy as a child was this. Okay. So hopefully the camera is catching that. Uh, this is the Remco Mini Monsters Frankenstein. Um, that my favorite toy as a child. Any of the Remco mini monsters, I could I could pick. Uh, Frankenstein was my favorite. I always liked Frankenstein. Um, that that was my preference. Um, why Frankenstein and Remco mini monsters? Well, what was kind of neat was is it was a special time in toys where the three and three quarter scale figures w were cross generational. So you, you could you could actually have the Star Trek, um, the motion picture characters fight in the mini monsters or. The G.I. Joes could fight the mini monsters, or the mini monsters could go into space and then they could meet the Star Wars uh, characters. So, Remco mini monsters were my favorite, and Universal Monsters in general is something that I've really, really enjoyed since I was a little kid. I'm enamored with them. I love them even to today. Okay, so, next question was, what is my favorite toy as an adult? Well, this one, it was a little bit tougher, and I, I wasn't really... I, I, it's tough, really. Uh, to choose one as an adult, but I liken back to my childhood a little bit on this once, and I just recently got it, and I haven't had a chance to show it off, so I'm going to show it off right now. Here it is, Stretch Armstrong. So for years, Stretch Armstrong was really not available in this likeness, um, in the 70s likeness. They made uh, different Stretch Armstrongs in the 1990s, uh, but it, he didn't look like this. Um, people tell me there's a resemblance um, yeah, there is, there's a resemblance, but what a great toy. And if you haven't found one of these at your local toy shops yet, go out and buy yourself one. You won't be disappointed. It's a great value and, uh, a stress reliever too. So, uh, so my favorite toy as an adult is something that I had as a child, but couldn't get for the longest, longest time. So that's Stretch Armstrong. He's my favorite toy as an adult. So the next question was, uh, do I um, keep my toys in the package or do I take them out of the package? And, and that's that's not an easy thing to answer. As you can see, some of the stuff before me or behind me here is in the package. Um, the Force Awakens figures that came out last year, I didn't take them out of the package because I love the card art. I thought the card art was super on them. The figures, hey, you know, or five point articulated figures, but the card art was really, really good on them and, and it was exciting. Um, and they, they're really good, so those I stay in the package. But other things I, I take out of the package or have taken out of the package, or you know, so um, I guess in general, my stuff is out of the package, but uh, some of my stuff is in the package still. So I, I don't know, I don't know if that's really an answer. I will move on. We'll move on. So next one was, what is your favorite superhero? Very easy one for me to answer. That is Marvel's The Thing. Um, really, really enjoy The Thing. I uh, have a full collection of Fantastic Four comic books. Love them. I, I love them, and I love The Thing. Um, the Thing is um, the... Uh, you know, they go into space. Four of them go into space, and... They all come back with superpowers, but one of them can't change back and forth. He's stuck looking like this. And the interaction between himself and the other three characters and how he copes with his his look now, his new look after gaining superpowers. So a man gains superpowers, but also gains a monstrous form that he can't revert back and forth to. So love the thing. He's my favorite. Okay, so last question out of the five was, what is your favorite gaming system? So, 
as I started having kids, gaming systems became less important to me, as uh, probably many people my age, they did, you know, they just did. You just didn't have the time. But when I was a late teenager into my early 20s, the gaming system that I love, and, I, I, and I'll drag it out every once in a while, is this gaming system, and that's the Sega Genesis 16-bit, um, the competition to the Super NES. Um, this was this was a, a, a staple of those years, uh, going to people's houses and, and different people having the games. The game in particular that we spent the majority of the time playing was this one. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's John Madden's Football, 1993, or 1993. This was the game, I mean, we played the heck out of this game. We felt that we were really, truly playing football at that point in time, because games before that, the football games weren't all that good. So, favorite gaming system is the Sega Genesis 16-bit. Okay, so I guess at the end of these videos, you're supposed to tag a few other people so that they'll do a video. So I'm going to tag two people on my video. I'm going to tag uh, Nick's Toy Barn is number one. And the second person I'm going to tag is G.I. Joe Reviewer 41. So if you two could uh, make a video, I think that would be swell. Again, I'm John Wilde. Thanks a lot for watching my videos. More of them are on the way. A um, lot of different fun. We're gonna we're gonna continue with Evil Knievel. Um, we're gonna do a little bit more with some oddities, uh, odd videos. I'm gonna get into comic books. I haven't really done much with that, so I'll be doing some uh, comic book uh, stuff too soon. So catch you on the next video.